What is up guys, TM back with another video, this time back with a replay cast of a match that I had in the P43 BIS when I was 3 marking this. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a rundown of the tank first, uh, kind of like a mini review. This tank, I actually really enjoyed playing this thing. It's not a particularly mobile medium tank. However, it does have a little bit of frontal armor, so you're going to get the odd bounce here or there from same tier vehicles, lower to definitely a lot of lower tier vehicles are going to bounce off of your frontal armor, and very occasionally the odd tier 7 if they're firing AP from like a medium tank or a light tank. So, what does this tank do very well at? It's very, well, first off, it's very flexible. You've got 8 degrees of gun depression pretty much all around. Uh, you've got good view range. I think it's 360 meters base, maybe 370 actually. I can't remember that one off the top of my head. Again, a little bit of armor, not a lot, so don't count on it. But it can pull off the odd bounce here or there. The gun is fantastic. The gun is really good. Great DPM. Uh, so you've got a really good reload for 240 alpha. You've got 145 AP pin, 180 APCR pin. And I think about 45 millimeters of HE pin for 240 alpha on AP and APCR and 320 alpha on HE. And the only downside to this gun is the shell velocity. It's a little slow. You're talking 700 meters a second for AP and 750 for APCR. So definitely not the easiest to track moving targets with. However, you do have a very fast reload for this kind of gun. With my setup, which I am tryharding this a bit, I I have of course a ton of like crew skills, so obviously likes of brothers and arms, all view range skills, and so on. I have food on this as well as vents and optics and a gun rammer. I think I've got the bounty gun rammer in this case and the bond optics as well. And so my reload on this is about five seconds, just a tiny little bit over. So that DPM comes out as you know, just over two and a half thousand, which for a 240 alpha gun at tier six is mental. The mobility on this tank is nothing special, but it does get you about the map just fine. And as you can see here, we are on province. So I'm going to walk you guys through a little bit during the match, just to let you guys show you guys what I do on this map with pretty much every tank. So I'm going to start off by heading off to this little bush here by the little rock. Uh, well, these these bushes, I should say. And from this spawn, I feel like this is what is particularly effective for three marking tanks. Because you can spot things pretty far, especially if you've got the view range to do so. You've got fairly clear shots at most of the other side, as well as some on your own side as well. So that ELC was actually partially our spotting, partially the friendly ELC spotting. We can also spot the P-43 BIS going up. We can spot uh, one of the Panzers. We can spot the Churchill and the AMX. Got a nice shot on the Panzer IV there. We're trying to hit that AMX because he is a very important target. Unfortunately, that shot does miss. We see a tree fall, and so we spot the BK-30. Now, this is going to be a very lucky BK-30 because, yeah, that bounced off the rear of the turret. And he's going to get lucky again here as RNG dumps the shot into the ground. little unfortunate there. So I usually stay here for most of my matches because you can very easily farm people who try and cross too aggressively or too slow. Or if they try and push too hard, you can stop them pushing your team up where our chaffy is fairly effectively. Now we're going to get the shot on this T-67. He's low health now. Now, what you saw me do right there, that kind of shot where I instantly pulled out of the sniper mode and turned away, that's... The closest I would compare that to in another shooter is what you might call a fadeaway shot, where you, as you're about to pull back or pull out of your aiming down sights uh, option, uh, you fire your shot just as you're about to do that, and it sends it to the same place. You're going to see me do it another couple of times during this match. I do it a lot when I'm expecting to get spotted, or, potential, or I'm in a position where I could potentially be spotted. So I wasn't double bushing there, as you might have noticed. So, but it's, as it so happens, I didn't get spotted. So we're just looking for shots here. No shots on the chaffy yet. He's 
behind the rock, but unfortunately, I don't actually notice, but I do. I did actually have a shot on him for a split second. Looking for a shot on the Chinu here. He's way too far behind there. Though he just poked forward, which means I can just take the shot. Get a little bit lucky with RNG and hit him. Got this easy shot on the Churchill there, just a flat side, basically. Seeing the VK's pushing, he's not. He's fighting our VK. Still looking for the shot on the Churchill, seeing he's going to push forward. He's not going to push forward enough for us just yet, however. Then I noticed the 12T. He's trying to cross the open field. We want to get rid of light tanks as much as we can on this map. We want to eliminate viewings from the enemy team. Looks like this guy does not have a good crew. And we try and take the other shot. Just to try and finish him off. Unfortunately, we didn't get that. Now, I do see that the enemy ELCs are trying to push up. But I do see that I've got some friendly tanks still alive. That I think can deal with them. Uh, while I try and get shots at his Churchill. RNG really is shafting me there. Unfortunately. However... He does make a big mistake, and once again, one of those fadeaway shots, because I noticed that the ELCs did manage to push up, so I managed to get the shot off and instantly pull back around. My reflex is on point here. Now, I see the KV2 aiming, so I've been pulling back here. Luckily, he does miss. Get the shot on the first ELC. Now, I've got health here, so I don't mind taking a hit from these guys. So, take the hit, take the kill. We did get the shot on the other ELC, though he gets distracted, and our 12T, who has relocated, as you can see, onto K3 finishes him off after we had made him a one shot unfortunately for us uh the enemy 12t that's left alive uh or one of the 12ts drops off the cliff and kills himself need to finish off this churchill here for, so our chaffer can stay alive a little longer we do get the shot very very lucky there now looking for a shot on the chaffy but unfortunately he's gone and spotted and he is at an angle where i cannot hit him Looking for a shot in the Panzer IV here, but unfortunately he's behind some rocks. Luckily for us, though, Artie is on point. Now we're looking to see if we can shoot the KV-2, see if he's going to poke forwards. Just being patient here. And he does make the mistake of pushing forward. We put a nice shot into him. Very low roll. That's actually not that far from min roll. Min roll on this gun is 188, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see. 188. 80 is a mineral, so yeah, not far off. We see the Chaffee's pushed up. We need to kill this guy now. KV-1S does get a good shot on him, and we finish him off and hide behind the rock straight away. KV-2 doesn't have a shot, so he hits the rock in front of us. Enemy RT also doesn't have much of a shot on us. This is a pretty tall rock, considering this is actually quite a low-profile tank. Now, it should be unspotted at this point, so I start climbing back up. Our KV-1S was spotting the KV-2 there for a moment. But then the KV-2 makes a big mistake. I'm looking for the shot on him. I know the P-43 base is in my base, but I keep the KV-2 spotted for our artillery. Takes him out of the match. That eliminates the one-shot potential of that tank. Friendly 12T fighting the P-43. Does not take any damage from the P-43, just tracking. Um, then we try and get a shot on the turret side. A little unlucky with RNG there. And he goes sideways onto us, trying to fight the 12T now. T67 shoots us, P43, very lucky for us, misses the shot. We get a little unlucky and miss, but at this point, the P43 messes up and he goes for our 12T. Who can take a hit, and then we finish off the P43. Now you'll notice I loaded the APCR just to make sure. I see the 12T there, who has just killed our 12T, but the KV-1S. He's ready for him, and finishes him off. Good job to that KV-1S. So now I'm looking to see if the T67 is going to push the KV-1S. So I'm looking down there. He could be going to the cap as well right now. So I'm heading down to try and support the KV-1S. Unfortunately for me, the T67 pops up right there. Puts a shot right into the upper plate. Shooting down with APCR. That's an easy pen for him. Just wiggling, just trying to throw off the shot for him and for artillery. And then hide behind the rocks, then artillery will struggle. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. Only stuns. No damage. I just let the stun wear out, because there's no point in using my medkit right now. KV-1S trying to spot the T-67 for our artillery. T-67 does spot us, but that's not a huge deal. RG does try, but doesn't get the hit. So again, just playing it safe here, waiting for the enemy artillery, who misses once again. 
using these rocks to my advantage. Now moving up, I'm going to speed the replay up a little bit here. So I'm following the KV-1S up this way to try and fight the T-67. He gets spotted there. I miss my opportunity here to shoot through those bushes. I didn't think I had a shot, but I actually did. So a bit of a mistake on my part there. And unfortunately, I'm not going to get a chance to shoot him just yet. So we're going to speed this up once again. So I move up this way trying to respot him for artillery. And also to support the KV-1S. Because both of us are low health at this point. No spot on the T-67. I think he's gone into... At this point, I thought he'd gone into the bushes on B8, B9. That wasn't the case. I asked the KV-1S just to wait for me, just in case. He is there. And I go all the way around. So I'm going to speed this up a lot. All the way around and low. So I can go into these bushes and potentially spot for the KV-1S and the artillery. So I wait for a second just for the KV-1S to realize. I ask him to go. I'm just moving forward here, looking for either the artillery or the T-67, expecting to find both. Only find the artillery, but I had HE loaded. 320 Alpha. We got the roll that we needed. Now, at this point, I think the T-67 is going to try and push me. He's like, oh, I'm expecting, oh, he's on 305 health. But unfortunately, no, he's, he's not pushing us, so. This gives me a chance to move out. At this point, our artillery is also trying to relocate. As you can see, he's going down there. Our friendly ELC. Obviously, I'm at, the, at this point, I'm an anonymized, so the name it gave me had 78 at the end. Friendly ELC, trying to be a bit of a troll, but uh, yeah. Uh, he exa didn't exactly do a whole lot for the team. So yeah, he's going to get a bit of a sh co come up and see here. T67 does shoot our AMX artillery and... Thankfully for us, the artillery is pinging exactly where he was getting shot from. Good job to him. And the friendly ELC actually pings where, or one of the ELCs even, not the one that was trying to troll, but the other one that was in the same platoon, pings where he thinks he is on G8. Which actually for us is not where the T67 is. However... What we do find is the T-67 there on H4. We do have the shot here, but I'm taking my time to aim because HE unfortunately missed, but it gets very, very close and does get the splash. Unfortunately here, I don't actually have the gun depression, and I'm going to pull myself out into the free cam for a moment so you guys can see. Now, look very... Oh, hello camera. Camera in this game can be really bad. But if you guys look very carefully at this ridge right here. I don't know if you can see the cursor. But it comes all the way around like this. It's a little raised and it's got a little bit of a bump where I am as well. And where the KV-1S is. That can really mess with your gun depression. So I actually don't have a good shot on it. Nor do I have a safe shot either. So if I'm not careful and if I over peak. He actually has a very easy shot at my lower plate. Fortunately for us, the KV-1S does still manage to get a shot on him, gets the trade, however, and the T-67 finishes him off. At this point, you can actually see the little step just in front of me here, and I'm actually realizing, no, I don't have the gun depression. So at this point, I'm making it look like I'm going one way, and then I turn back. Our artillery tries to go for the blind shot, unfortunately doesn't get it. And at this point, I think, okay, well, he thinks I'm going the other way. Let's try and go into the bush and try and respot him. There he is. We get the spot. He thinks we're going down the slope at that point, and we get the kill. Now, we saw 3,071 damage. Turns out I actually did get a blind shot, but for not a whole lot of damage. So this match actually ended up around 3,300, roughly, uh, in terms of damage. Of course, the seven kills. And this was the third mark match. This is the match where I got my third mark of excellence on this tank. So I was very happy that I got that. 73 game, no, 77 games in total in this thing. I could have gotten it a few matches quicker. But I did get unlucky with RNG and matchmaking a couple of times. So it happens. You just got to roll with it. And I was very happy with this tank overall. 
very very good little tier 6 medium would highly recommend giving it a shot especially if you already have a good crew maybe if you guys have been playing the Progetto M46 the tier 8 premium or if you've gone up the line at all and you feel like you want to go back in 3 mark something or you can just go back and enjoy lower tiers a little bit this is a definitely a solid little tank it can bounce the odd shot mobile enough it's got some few range it's got a really good gun so definitely worth trying anyway guys that's all from me for this one i hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, look at the p43 bis hope you guys liked how i took this match on province a little bit of a weird map like i i tend to play this as the you stop the enemy team from playing to begin with sort of map so stop them playing and then you get to play later on when you've got the numbers and that's def that's is that's essentially what we did and we took full advantage anyway guys it's all from me bye for now